Hi, I'm Trish Rock and I'm going to be appearing on the online prosperity show where we're going to be talking about how you can really incorporate more abundance and more joyful energy into your life every day and really live a life that you want and live your best life. So please join us. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today, I've brought you Trish Rock. Trish, how are you doing, my love? I'm fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me on your program, Prosper. Absolutely. Now, Trish has a passion, and her passion is to see you live your abundant life. Now, here's the thing. She actually knows there is a fire within you, and she actually also knows that you have a passion for life that far exceeds your wildest imagination. But you may not be seeing it or feeling it right now. And you might be wondering, how does Trish know all of this? You see, Trish is a modern day intuitive. And I can also hear you asking me, Prosper, what are you even talking about? At this point, I also do not know. That's the reason why we've brought in Trish. So she could explain to us how we can actually live abundantly and have lives or businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Now, Trish, tell us a little bit about your story and how you became the modern intuitive. Yes, Prosper. So yes, I do call myself a modern day intuitive. And the reason being is that I now uh, move with the flow of life daily and um, that's really the fastest way to abundance in all areas uh, and uh, you know it wasn't really always like that I've really struggled a lot financially for about four years and uh, when I finally shifted that lack mentality <laughs> around um, I was pretty stubborn about it but when I finally shifted that around I understood about the you know the messages and the intuitive prompts that we get and the feelings we get and uh, I try to live more in that flow now uh, and uh, and not in you know looking at what's around me in the present moment rather than what I don't have yet <laughs> wow. yeah absolutely well thank you so much for that so basically, with you having struggled financially from that time to this time, what has actually changed in your life? Oh, lots of things have changed. So I actually feel really abundant now, no matter what is in my bank account, whether I have a partner or not, whether I'm you know, still doing my day job or not, I still feel that abundance and I've already stepped into the person I am in my vision, even though I may not totally be there yet. So back in that four years of struggle, every day was, oh, I haven't got this, or I'm lacking this, or it's not enough, or I'm not enough. Um, and that's probably more the point. <laughs> it's our worth, isn't it, and our, what we think we deserve. Um, but I see it as a real blessing now because I ran a successful um, nail salons for 28 years and never really had that discipline with money because it was coming in so quickly and easily I, you know you'd, I didn't need the discipline right so when I left that behind to get my bigger message out uh, you know the universe really gave me this big lesson of, of um, struggle <laughs> for four years and uh, it's been really a blessing because I can now help other people lift out of that. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Well, I would say that um, I'm not sure if you know, but in life we're here to live, we're here to learn and we're here to contribute. And you have obviously lived that life while you were, um, you know, doing the nails prior. And then you had to learn that lesson that happened at that four year um, you know, struggleville place you were at, yeah. and then now you are living in a life of contribution. Now you do, you keep referring to this word abundance, all right? And you keep referring to how even if you're not with a partner, even if you're not with money, you still feel abundant. Now, could you just come back to earth a little bit? Because yeah. 
Most of us seek happiness in things that are around us. Most of us seek happiness in the monetary rewards that we get from whatever work endeavors we put out there. How do you then say you have it all when you've got nothing? Yes, well, that was the big um, mind game that I really had to play with myself. And, uh, you know, it's, I think it's uh, when you can, if, if you're attached to all those things, um, you know, life brings lots of challenges. We may have everything around us, but we could lose it immediately in a fire, in a flood. We could lose things, but that feeling we don't lose. So, uh, and, and here's the other thing. It's when, when you're wanting to grow your wealth or grow your life or grow into your vision or have more things, possessions, uh, until you already feel that you've got it, you're in lack and you, and you won't get it. Um, so when you already feel abundant with or without that thing, that thing arrives. It, it's, um, it's one of those universal <laughs> laws, right? So, um, so rather than, so for those four years, I was sitting in lack. I don't have this. I don't have that. I don't make enough money or too many bills, blah, blah, blah. Right. But when I shifted that, and already felt abundant, uh, I was saying different words. It was like, okay, I don't have the cash right now to get that, but I will. Right. right? And that's a totally different energy to I don't have the money. So when you can be in that energy of, of flow and knowing that the universe does provide, uh, things start showing up uh, because you're already expecting it. So, um, and if you can really detach yourself from the actual things, um, it really helps because ultimately it's the feeling we want. You know, it's not that, it's not that shiny new car. It's the feeling of sitting in it, right? <laughs> and we can have that without the car. But it's nice to have the car though too, right? right. I'm, not, I'm not saying don't have the things, but have the feeling of it while you're waiting to get it. And um, when you do ultimately uh, bring in that abundance or that relationship or that ideal job or career, uh, it just feels normal. It's kind of like the next step because in, in here and in here you've already got it. And then it shows up and you go, oh, there it is. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, Trish, I'm thinking you've got a lot of work cut out for you because the society we live in is a society that profits on people's um, inadequacy or on lack. Yes. The more that people feel they're not looking good enough, they're going to go and buy Leo Real products and that puts money into their bank. Exactly. The more people feel like they're not looking good enough, which is that lack, um, they're going to go and pay some gym that they're not going to attend anyway. Yeah. So how then are you sort of coming in, um, you know, working with people and sort of showing them that what they grew up knowing, which is the whole lack, 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 they now have to grow their abundance muscle because I'm believing it's a muscle that you've got to grow. How do you work with people that have just got that one sort of one track mind and then bring them up to your sort of enlightened way of living. Cause I can see you looking happy right now. Even your clothes are full of energy, like the flowers are speaking volume, you know? So there's certain things that other people don't realize that wearing black clothes just gives you a dark and, you know, gloom. How do you work with people? What sort of process or, stages do you take them through um you know so that they get to where you are sure well first of all they have to want to <laughs> because it's hard work <laughs> as you know any any internal work is hard work but it's the hardest work that we need to do um is to work on ourselves uh so where do i start um you know it's it really is the old uh, three-dimensional energy that the world um, has been in for the last few thousand years or more 
where it was about control and pushing down the masses and letting us all know that we weren't worthy and we, you know, had to stay in lack so the powers could be bigger. Uh, but, you know, that energy is kind of shifting now uh, and people are really seeing the truth and, and uh, social media and the internet has had a lot to do with that because uh, the people in power now really have to uh, be transparent, right? So a lot of people now are on a human level are starting to realise that everything they've been told is not true, right? So most of it's not true. <laughs> so come with that comes that new energy of, well, who am I without those fears? Who am I without that control? Um, and so when that person comes to me, um, I communicate with their spirit, I guess, or their, it's their inner voice. Um, and I translate that because sometimes what we think the problem is is not really the problem. <laughs> Um, and, you know, when I first started doing this, I, uh, I don't think I was in front of the right audience because they didn't really want to hear my answers because I'm, you know, I'm pretty, I, I cut to the chase. Right? <laughs> um, but now, you know, the people who come to me are really ready to hear it and they've been going around in circles, many of them at different counselling or whatever and, you know, trying to peel that onion, whereas, you know, I, I really hear what the issue is and I just say, well, this is the issue, let's solve it. <laughs> and it's a matter of changing the mind. So um, I do it with that, that energetic knowing, uh, but I also, I'm also really good at changing people's perceptions on things. So I give them a different point of view um, to get them out of the lack or out of the unworthiness. And I've also got a lot of other tools I use to help build up that worthiness and that self-deserving and that self-love. Um, and, you know, I think people are really ready to let it go and really shine their, start shining their light now um, and really have that empowerment. Uh, so, you know, so there's lots of different tools I use, but uh, on that deeper level, that's, that's really what I'm doing. I'm taking someone who is stuck in a story from their childhood or from their previous relationship or from something um, and I'm shifting it into a more uh, real view of what actually happened <laughs> and, uh, and lifting that self-esteem and with that comes that joyful feeling and that um, more abundant feeling in, in life uh, rather than feeling like you have to do all the shoulds and the, you know, follow the leader. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Because um, it, it sounds like they stand to gain a whole lot um, if they really step up to, you know, you know, their abundant self. Like, give people an example because if people knew what they stand to, to, to win at the end of the race, the, the whole price they have to pay in order for them to get there would not be as costly as they think it is. So what do people stand to win after they uh, open up themselves to the greatness that's out there for them? Yeah, well, I mean, they really open up to, um, to that flow. And so, so the example would be, um, uh, you know, in those four years when I was really struggling I thought maybe I'll go back to the nail industry but I, I remembered how I felt towards the end of that and that was painful because I just felt like I was in prison so um, the the actual fear of 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 that struggle with money was less <laughs> than going back to the life I had and uh, the reason I say this is because some people are living in that prison every day. They're in a job they hate. They're not happy in their daily life. They're just robots. Get up, do this, come home, go to sleep, do it all again. And life has no meaning. And they've got this, they've got this inner calling that's saying there's more than this. There's more to life than this. And so when they can realise that they don't have to be a robot, yes, there's certain things we need to do every day, 
but you can do them with gratitude and feeling blessed <laughs> uh, and and actually really being in the moment uh, it gets you out of that pain a lot of people are in a lot of emotional pain they feel down so uh, getting out of that and seeing things in a more I keep saying abundant but it's probably more joyful more flow more gratitude um, and pure happiness seeing life like that um, you can still be doing exactly what you do every day but it feels differently and life has a bit more meaning um, and you know some people that have worked with me have really gone past that stuckness um, of life to really shining their light in their own work uh, that they were too scared to step into so uh, you know I really love lifting people up to to see them shining because we've all got we've all got a bit of a message for the world and um, even for our children just to to stand up in that in your empowerment and we were talking about children before and you know, a, a two and three and four year old, they stand in their power every day. They go, this is me and I love it, right? <laughs> and then we get to about seven or eight and we lose that. And then we, you know, sometimes leave it till we're late 40s like me and we go, I want to be that again, right? So um, you, can, you can do it a lot sooner than <laughs> 40 or 50. Um, but that's the... That's the difference. Someone who's maybe in their 30s or 40s and feeling like life has got nothing to offer compared to a three-year-old who is so open to living. Um, and we as adults can get back to that. We can have that curiosity of life, that adventure, that, you know, knowing that there's a contrast, um, knowing that sometimes you're going to be feeling bad or angry or frustrated, but you, you can choose to step into something else in that moment. Um, and when, when you've got that empowerment and, and when I help people with that empowerment, I don't know, life is just more flowing for them. They're not stuck in that I mean, I used to get angry and frustrated and, you know, be in the fetal position on the floor for three days, right? Because I couldn't snap out of it. Um, but now I, I can change my mind. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for that because it's really enlightening. And um, obviously you, um, you know, you really brought it home, especially about the kids um, and I was mentioning earlier that I've got a teenager that really stands up for anything, jumps from whatever cliff, and I'm feeling that it is the society and the people that are around them that keep, you know, putting them down in order for them to not hurt themselves and to survive as, in quotes, normal person. But then that takes away and stifles out, you know, their imagination and their abundance. So we might have somebody who's sitting out on the on the corner of their chair right now, has been listening to what you're saying, really has got so many questions um, and really wants to know how else they can get out of that uh, conundrum they might be in. What's the best sort of way for people to get a hold of you? Have you got any social medias that people can join or groups that, you know, you can talk to people that, um, you know, people can get in front of you or something like that. Of course, yeah. I've got a great um, uh, free group on Facebook called The Abundance Classroom with Trish Rock. Uh, and, uh, you know, we, I, I, do a, um, I do an energetic card reading every Sunday with the energy for the week. Uh, and I also just post through some really inspirational things during the week, uh, really helping people to, to get in touch with what they already have or to, steps to move forward. Um, in all areas um, and and you know moving moving out of that uh, lack mindset is really important when you're in business too because uh, you know if you when I was coaching nail salons uh, you know the the language around oh we've got competition down the road so we're not going to do well all our customers are going to go i mean that's such a lack mindset and i still hear that in many businesses 
Whereas if you was that, was that was that nail saloon on Struggle Street or yeah, <laughs> that's right. Whereas if you can really get into the, you know, um, if you're in business, people are coming to me for a beautiful experience, and that's what I give them, and they feel good when they when they leave or when they buy something from me, and that's such a powerful way to be rather than oh, you know, if I can just get this many people, I can make this much money. It, it's, it, it's the wrong energy and you don't attract people. And in those four years when I was really struggling, uh, I wasn't attracting any clients because I had the wrong energy behind it. You know, it was like, oh my God, I've got a bill to pay. Where can I find a client? You know, and you have that panic and you don't get anyone. <laughs> So, so it's really important for business people to to shift that lack mindset as well. So, um, I've got my free abundance class on uh, Facebook. Uh, I've also got a really great intuitive energy breakthrough program that um, people can look on my website for. I've got a couple of different levels there, but um, it's really working one on one with people getting them from where they are now uh, energetically <laughs> and, and mindset to where they want to be. And uh, I've been in business for a long time and, and I've done a lot of, uh, I used to build mobile apps, so I'm pretty techie, techie and I'm, you know, I, I, I can help with a lot of things in business too, but it's really getting that mindset and that energy um, working again and um yeah uh and if anyone listening would like to maybe have a chat with me as to whether we're a fit <laughs> um i do offer a 30 minute um uh, free discovery call just to unravel you know where people are and we usually in that 30 minutes discover at least one area where I can offer a solution for them to move forward. And um, you, sometimes there's two or three, but definitely one. And, uh, you know, so even, even just that 30 minutes is beneficial. It'll give people a way forward. Um, so they can email me. Would you like the email address? We'll put it all in the in the comments there. That should work out. That should Ooh, work yeah, out. Better. You can just email me and um, yeah, that would be wonderful. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your generosity. But as you would notice, Trish, I mean, you do offer a free 30 minute session. And I realize this video has gone for maybe 25 minutes. So in the last sort of five minutes, could we yes. st still get some of your advice in as much as, um, yeah. you know, this is like towards the beginning um, of the year. So if anyone has uh, written or painted their New Year's resolutions on the wall, yes. the paint is only just getting dry right now. All right. So what sort of advice can you give to them to actually make it stick for them? Because Half of the time, you know, when things start getting rough, when the first bills start coming in or when the first bill from school starts coming in, everybody goes back to Struggle Street and then it's all the rat race all over again. Yeah. So how do you, you know, what sort of advice can you give to people to just continuously stay in a state of flow and of balance? Flow. Yeah. So, well, with any goal, um, because we have failures in our goals too, Right, so you've got to be prepared for that. But any goal, I like to, um, my end result is the feeling of it, not the thing, right? The feeling of how I'll feel. So, uh, because the universe sometimes takes us on a different path. Um, but if we have the feeling as the end goal, then we always achieve our goals. Uh, and that the feeling of, of, of feeling wealthy is, it really it takes daily work if if you are heading back down again right <laughs> it takes daily work and gratitude is is the one of the biggest things um for people who like writing um definitely do at least three or four or five gratitude and the way i like to write it in my gratitude journal is it as if it's already happened and so you can always project the future. So um, I start mine with, I am so happy and grateful now that, 
Um, and so if you do at least five of those a night and then add what it is, I'm so happy and grateful now that uh, I have a, a five new clients. I'm so happy and grateful now that I've paid the school fees. And if you do that every night, it really, it's telling the universe you've already got those things. It's very powerful. Um, for people who don't like to write, they can just do it in their head while they're lying there in bed. Oh, I'm so grateful for this and this and this today. And it puts you in that beautiful energy before you go to sleep and you can kind of baste in it all night, right? <laughs> um, I'll have my moments too. And uh, it's really in those moments that you have to think of something that you already have that you feel good about. Um, you know, in my moments when, I've, when I'm thinking I'm not going to have enough money for something, I have to step back and consciously say, well, you know what, I've got enough money right now and um, I managed to do that before and I'll be able to do it again. You have to look at what you have right now rather than being in the whack. And it's a conscious thing daily. So, uh, but gratitude really is, is one of the big ones. And step into the feeling of your goals. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, and, uh, and I'd highly encourage anyone who has a bigger vision or a calling, keep going because I can tell you now the calling won't go away. It will keep at you and keep at you until you rise up and do it. So don't, um, don't give up on yourself ever. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much there, Trish, because whoever has been watching right now, they're probably broken, really struggling every single day and they're done living on the poverty line, no matter how hard they're working. Probably they're going through shitty relationship after relationship, but not really loving and respecting themselves. And they're also done with maybe these health problems or whatever it is that would have been holding you back. Trish says it's not your fault and she's offering you an opportunity to work with her because she um, would me she mentors people who are actually fed up um, with seeing their life remain drab and unfulfilling and you can also hear her story on how she got herself from that position um, you know for four years where life was a bit of a rut now Trish I can't thank you enough for oh, the you. value that you dropped on the show today and your expertise, your love and that smile. Can we have more? Oh, thank, you. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm so grateful that you've, um, that you had me on as one of your guests and, uh, I hope that, uh, everyone listening has gained something from it and lifted their energy too. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you so much. Wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.